Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a really quick video. Um, I've done a bit of a, it's going to be a bit of a haul video. Um, I just want to show you really quickly this one thing here. This white container here. I got this. It's got like three little drawers, okay? Um, just for storing like my eye things are down here, like my mascara, my eyeliners and stuff like that are all in here. Um, and then I have like lip glosses and then I have lipsticks and lip balms all up here. So I just wanted to show you that because it's really cute and really handy and was very cheap. It was two euro in the two euro shop. Yeah, I love cheap stuff. I'm really excited today because I'll show you later on. Well, I'll show you in a minute something that I've got. Um, okay, so this is the first thing. It is from the Natural Collection in Booth. This is Apple Blossom. I have it on my lips right now. This is a really nice pale pink, totally matte, no shimmer whatsoever. It'd be gorgeous underneath um, a lip gloss or even on its own, it's really nice. Um, quite comparable to Barry M's 101, which I know people were raving about, so I went out and bought it. But this one is a little bit more wearable than Barry M's 101. This is quite pale. Uh, can you see there? There's a bit of a more pinkier tone in this in the natural collection, so it's a little bit easier to wear on its own. So that's one thing that I got. Um, the next thing was also from the natural collection, and it's it's an eyeshadow and it's called Crushed Walnut. Ugh, crushed Walnut. I'm speaking really fast because I'm dying to get to this one thing that I basically have been waiting for forever. But anyway, that's it there. It's just a really, it's quite a dark matte brown. Really nice. Wait till I show you this. So I have been on a big quest, I've been on a massive search to try and find a Kabuki brush, but Max Kabuki brushes are, I think they're just ridiculous prices. Like my friend is over in America and I think in America it's like 40 dollars. $40. And she was like, I'll get it for you, and I was like, I don't really want to spend that much on a makeup brush. So anyway, moving on, because I'm going to rant and rave about this. I made a video before this one, but I didn't think that I looked as excited as I actually really am about this. This is from the Body Shop. Look at how cute! This is metal, and it's got little glitter sparkles in it. And on the back there it has Nature's Mineral Foundation. Because that's what it's for, it was made for their um, Loose Mineral Foundation. Um, This brush is so, so soft. And it's really, really dense. Really, really dense. Um, it's sort of a dome shape. I have just put on some of my MAC Mineralite Skin Finish Natural with it. Which I got new as well. I've had a lot of haul videos recently. But this one is fairly cheap though. This one, this brush, I fell on the floor. <laughs> it's 25 euro, okay? And I thought, hmm, that's really good for a good kabuki brush. And I had a feel, and I had to wander around town, and I had a feel of a couple of different ones. Um, but the price of this was drawing me back. And also the fact that I have... Um, a brush from the body shop, a foundation brush for the liquid foundation, and I have an eyeshadow brush, and I really like them. They're all synthetic, like this. Um, I like, I really like the color. I like, the, I like the light brown going into the dark brown of the tip. So soft around the tip as well. It's this, it's just such a gorgeous brush. I mean, I could literally sit here all day and just do that. Um, but yeah. 
I had a look at a couple of different kabuki brushes, had a feel, and went, it feels like a quite a decent brush. Like, I went over and I felt Dior's, but Dior's was quite fluffy, and I was like, oh, I don't really know if I want a big fluffy one. And this just seemed to be exactly what I would have thought a kabuki brush was, and... It, I mean, <laughs> I just wanted it, as well, for its price. It was so good. I was like, 25 euro, oh. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll go in and get it, and then I can stop thinking about kabuki brushes, and I can get on with my life. <laughs> but I think now this will be my life. This is amazing. Look at it. It's so cute. It's really small. But not too small that you couldn't do your whole face with it really quickly. Um, but small enough that you could put on some blush with it, or even a little bit of contour maybe. Um, I'm so excited, sorry. It came with this little pouch that you just put it in, so you can just throw it into your bag, throw it around your room, wherever you want to throw it, you can throw it and you won't do any damage because it's in this little pouch, which is great. Um, oh yeah, and the price, let's get back to that. I was like, oh, I can't find a price for it because it had everything written down as the brush and the makeup together will cost you like something like 50 euro or something. And I was like, do you have to buy the two of them together? I was really unsure. Um, so, but then my little sister, because she's really clever, spotted that this on its own was 25 euro. And I was like, hmm, that's actually quite good. Um, compared to like the more expensive kabuki brushes that I've seen and it also felt so much nicer and it's so soft it's not scratchy at all which when I was feeling in a couple of them I was kind of like oh, it's a bit a little bit scratchy like I mean this is the softest brush I've ever felt in my whole life and it's ridiculously dense really um quite stiff but like I mean I'm just uh, um Oh yeah, I keep veering off, I'm really sorry. If you've stayed with me this far, well done. I'm going to finish off my thing right now in about three seconds. <laughs> I went up to pay for it, had 25 euro in my hand, and the girl said, oh, it's 20% off all makeup and makeup brushes today. And I went, and she scanned it, and it was 20 euro. 20 euro for an amazing, gorgeous, fabulous little kabuki brush that I'm totally obsessed with. This brush, I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Look, look at it. It's so, so nice. And I put on my mineralized skin finish with it, and I put it on really well. It didn't apply too much. It didn't take up too much. Uh, I then went in and showed my sister, and I was like, you down, look! And I was putting it in her studio fix powder and putting it on her face, and she was like, Mmm, mmm. So now I think she may be going to buy one, but she'd want to do it quick while they're still 20% off. I didn't even ask the girl because I was kind of like, when she told me that there was 20% off, so I don't know how long that's going to last. So I would suggest if you were thinking about getting one, go down, have a feel, see what you think, maybe use it on the back of your hand, not on your face. Maybe use it on the back of your hand because they have the tester brushes out. So maybe use it on the back of your hand with some of their product and see what you think about it. Um, and do what I don't go around, have a feel, a couple of different brushes and see what you think. But for me, for the amount of money that this cost me, 20 euro, not really that much for a kabuki brush um, that I think is absolutely amazing. It's a really, really good brush. Um, and also it comes with a really cute little pouch that you can just throw it in and throw it into your bag or throw it wherever you want. Um, yeah, I love it. It's great. Okay, that's all I've got to say. I'm sorry. I'm so excited and I wanted you to know how excited I was. Um, so I done a huge rant. I uh, hope you don't get bored with it too quickly. <laughs> Bye!